And the wedding cake, double check on that. Thank you, handle it. Oh, oh, star, darling. Hello. gorgeous creature you Cole I'm so glad to have you here thank you well sure we wouldn't miss your wedding it's nice to be at a family event I missed too many this year well this will be better than graduation hey look Lambie's new super couple You do look wonderful. Well, oh, thank you. Look at you. You too. Oh, not yet. <laughs> I'm not in my wedding dress yet. Listen, listen, listen. I'm going to need my Kramer women with me, so will you please come to my cabana in just a few minutes? Please. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I've got things I have to do. Come on. She looks so happy. It's hard to believe that David Vickers does that for her, but he does. This place is insane. Well, it's done up for the weddings. It's not usually like this. Yeah, it's but... still a country club. Hey, James, uh, why don't we get everyone some drinks? Sure. Oh, wait, what? Uh, oh, you actually brought James here? Yeah, why not? There doesn't really seem to be a point. It's not like Ford's here to see it. We need to get a few things straight. You showed up at my apartment, hit on my girlfriend. Wait, that's what she said? And she told me. No, I mean, she calls herself your girlfriend. She told me what you said, what you did. Give it up, James. She's never going to leave me for you, ever. Damn. Why did you bring James here? You heard him. We had a date. It just seems like such a waste because Ford isn't even here. I know, but is it a problem? No. Fine, then I'll keep him distracted since you don't want to. You're right, I don't want to, okay? Because I'm not interested in James. That is what Star said, too. That she'll be with you forever. Okay. Forever. Like a prison sentence? You need to pay attention, okay? Oh, believe me, I am. I've seen everything. I don't know what you think you've seen. But... You let that nutcase, Hannah O'Connor, take you for a ride. And you left Star alone. Can't be surprised that she went looking someplace else. But you mean when you carjacked her? That's ancient history. I'm talking about after that. Are you talking about that big kiss? That was all for show. Keep telling yourself that, Cole. There's something between us. Well, Star doesn't think so. Star doesn't want to think so. Yet. But she's already struggling to go through the motions. You see that, don't you? Look, I don't give a damn what you think. You stay away from my girlfriend, you hear me? You should try to have fun with James. Seriously, that's what you want? See, he's a decent guy. He's completely different from his brother. Well, that's good to know, but you'd really be okay with that? Why not? Now, why don't you get out of here and leave us alone? I have a date for the wedding. It's all good, Cole. Relax. So you're Amy Langston. She's a nice girl. Mm, I thought Star was the one for you. It's just a date. Right. You know, you're no better than your low-life brother. You back off of He's a sleazy user. And you're just as bad. I am nothing you're like Ford my brother. You're scum. No, you ruined Langston's life. Watch it. And you're trying to finish. Shut your mouth! You know, your whole family is nothing. I mean, shut your mouth right Shut my mouth right. or what? So sick and tired. Hey, 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 what's going on? Hey, Cole, breathe, breathe. What are you doing? Picking out the trash. Oh, no, 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 no. You're at a wedding. <laughs> Look at those fine decorations. Soon the appetizers will be coming out. Shrimp on a stick, that's my favorite. How about you, Cole? He's here to cause trouble. I'm lengthening his date. What did I tell hey, you? Hey, what's going on? Oh, nothing. We're just enjoying a fine day. Tell your boys if they want to fight here, it's going to be with me. What are you fighting about? Uh, nothing. Uh, James and I can agree on the drinks. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Really, tell me. It's nothing, okay? We, we kind of got into it, but it's over now. I told you there's nothing to worry about, okay? James means nothing to me. I just want to make sure that James knew, too. Maid of Honor's here. Maid of Honor number two. Mom, you're not even dressed yet. There is only going to be one bride today. 
Don't look at me. It wasn't my idea, and I only just heard. Oh, no, Mom, did, did you and Eli break up? No, silly, it's nothing like that. Your mother thinks I need my own day. I tried to tell her I did not, but she doesn't you listen do to me. You do need your own day. <laughs> no. It would be better this way. I completely agree. Huh. That means more weddings. Yeah, did you guys set a date? Today. We're eloping. You're what? Wait, that's not fair. Wait, you're leaving? This is news. You don't want us at your wedding? Of course I want you there. I'd, I'd love, love to have your kid just run off. You never said anything about eloping before. Well, I didn't know it was going to cause such a commotion. Sure you did. You would be okay getting married without me and Jack and Sam there? Yeah, couldn't you wait? <sighs> and you're going to miss my wedding. Okay, everyone, just listen here. I would love it to have all of you there. I would love to have a big, fat Kramer woman wedding, but there is another man in this picture here, and it's Elijah, my fiance, who doesn't really have a big family, and he's only made one request. Whoa, does he have a problem with our family? No, he loves every one of you. He just hasn't been married before, so this is actually a really big deal for him, okay? He hasn't asked for very much, and I think he's like bailed us Maybe each one of us out of a lot of trouble, right? True. So I am going to give him this. And I promise I'll let you throw us a huge celebration when we get home, okay? Okay. <laughs> All right, well, now you're talking. It's gonna be fun! Sir? Congratulations. Yeah, there's my girl. <laughs> and Danny, I'm only gonna be gone a day, so you can call me if you need me, all right? Well, I won't need to. Sweetie, we're all family here. You can count on us. We'll look after you. Is this a Kramer woman thing? You bet. <laughs> we Kramer women look after each other. <laughs> and look how happy Dorian is right now. She looks radiant. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what love does for you. Man, you and David have come a long way to con get to this day, actually. <laughs> it's made it all the sweeter. I think we need to make a toast. Oh, let's grab okay. a bottle. There you go. Oh, it's oh, oh, water. Okay. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Okay, everybody. Be careful opening it. Your right. water can spot silk. Okay, oh, here we go. Girl. It's all good. To true love, may it always last. And to Dorian and to uh, David Vickers, who kind of <clears throat> gets stuck in my throat. Hey, hey, play nice. <laughs> Watch me. <laughs> to Elijah no. and to Blair, may they have a long and happy life together. Thank you, Dorian. And now to these beautiful young women, just know that you can always count on the women in this room take care of you no matter what. So oh, to you know. Kramer women. So it's just your Aunt Dorian? Don't worry, I'm sure it will still be quite the show. Let's enjoy it. Okay? Sure. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? No Hannah, no James. Sounds perfect to me. never gonna happen. What? Stars with Cole, end of story. Uh, now, I was just thinking how great it is to be at a fancy wedding with a beautiful date. Oh, you were, were you? Come on, let's just have a great time. Works for me.